mess them up. I ain't gonna do anything that's wrong. I may say some double negatives. I may talk like I'm from the hook, cause nigga, I am. But see, I could say that because I've proven myself. I have proven myself and what you say has no backing in reality. Go look at history, go look at the Christian Crusades and look at what happened. If you wanna fight anything, why don't we give this land back to the Native Americans? Why don't we give their children their virginities back? Why aren't we sending police and military and all this power we have to Nigeria? Why aren't we helping them? Oh, because the Nigerian president doesn't want help because he's part of it. He's part of the same purveying force that controls and manipulates everything for themselves. For themselves, not for you, not for the future. These old white guys are gonna die soon. They don't realize that they've set up a future that can't happen. It's incalculable. It's inconsequential. There's no way that these children can run our world. Done deal. Hail Satan, one love. So you're disappointed that you've been with you guys? I'm extremely disappointed because, I mean, you know, uh, you can't even be Muslim in this country now. After 9-11, which was perpetrated by our own government and other governments across the world, you can't even be Muslim. I found a Muslim church. They were singing beautiful music. They were speaking the truth. They were treating their women well, not the way we believe that they treat their women. Of course, some do, but some Christians do. I, I knew a Christian who fucked his kid. They he would take his kid with another kid on, a, on a, uh, a trip camping, and then the two fathers would swap sons, and then they'd be in church on Sunday. But you're not saying anything about this. All you see is Satan. Satan doesn't even look the way that he's been portrayed. He's beautiful. He's illustrious. He is the, the one light in the sky. He is your only hope. The only hope you have is Lucifer, Enkai, Quetzalcoatl, the Masao, the Pahana. Look at any teaching spiritually and you can see the same being. Some hold in the light, some hold in the dark. It's still the same thing. And when Prometheus's liver is eaten out, it's for you. And Prometheus is the devil, Lucifer. Whatever you want to call it, it is the great spirit. Everything has a spirit. Lucifer is everywhere. And Lucifer is your only hope. If you want to defeat this pyramid, you have to come to the top where Lucifer resides. Open your eye. Find it. Because Alex Jones, I go with what Alex Jones is saying. But then that time when there were a lot of spiritual people outside, he didn't quite get it. He gets a lot of things I don't get. But the thing is, we all need to open up to the spiritual side. Because it's not just a one-sided reality of government. There is government control, but there is also spiritual manipulation and ignorance. And you need to open your eye and then you can see much more clearly because you find the truth and then you go against your only hope. Satan may be used by these people, but I can tell you, as someone with a direct connect to John, we do not play that game. We do not play that game. We will kill the same pyramid that you hope to defeat with the eye of Lucifer. <laughs> the question is, uh, the world is weak, the Illuminati, right? They believe in Lucifer as God, but yet they commit evil. And how is that playing to their part of the system? I feel as though the Illuminati is also a method of control by the church.